All right, I just got here at the Goodwill about two hours later than I usually am because of the weather. Bad storm coming through here. So um, let's see what we can find when we're uh, two hours later than we usually are. Wish me luck. We're here in the wood aisle. We have a beautiful black dahlia piece right here. A uh, nice tree, galvanized steel on wood. That's pretty nice. That'd be nice to hang up outside. We have this Jai Jagannath Dom Puri. I don't know what that is. Uh, pretty interesting stuff today. I already grabbed some stuff in the cart. So, this is cool. This Indian plaque. Very neat. Like that. That's kind of interesting. Oh, he's throwing some stuff up here. Let's go see what he's got here. More signs, cigar boxes. Um, I went past the metal aisle really fast and it was really empty. Bless your heart. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Here is a nativity he just put out. Let's see. Made in China. It's nice, but I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Here are some fans, some cool um, wood fans. I'm going to grab a couple of those just to have them. All right. Um, this looks like another docking station. I just saw a docking station, half of one, and I was looking for the other half of it. But this is a Caden one. And the one down there, let me show you really quick, is a Tesliar docking station but I haven't found the other piece to either so um, they're going to stay coffee friends make the perfect blend that's very cute um, we have this nice arrow here very pretty and let's go over here what is this learning targets and what is this uh, it's a stroller adapter. That's a cool vase. It's a wood vase with some pine things in it. That's neat. How much is that? 309 for that. That's kind of cool. Mango wood. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of like that. Nice and natural. But we're going to leave it here. Alright, that's it for the wood, guys. And not much in the baskets here. So... I already looked through them. I didn't find anything that stood out to me. Okay, we're going to look here in the toys. I'm going to look these over after I look over the plush. And see what I can dig out of here. But we're going to start over here in the plush. My pizza's still there. My pizza's still there. Hey, you want a pizza, me? That's so cute. Uh, we got some Halloween ribbon. We have a Zoom Zoom. He looks like uh, the raccoon from... Pocahontas, cute owl. Oh, uh, you look like a jelly cat, are you? No, you're a first impression, bunny. Okay, got some ribbon here. Are you a beanie? Are you a beanie? You're a beanie. You're a chipmunk beanie. Okay, well, I have plenty of beanies I have to get. Well, there's a, another beanie. We'll see. We'll throw them in the cart. I'll think about them. Maybe I'll show them to the person that um, is usually interested in them. Hopefully they can get back to me while I'm in the store and then I can uh, get them or not. Oh, look at this Batman. How cool is he? Push button. I don't want to. He's 169. I don't see a button to push. All right, well... Maybe his batteries are dead or something, but he's neat. I think we might pick him up. I like him because he's got the wings. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're going to go around. Oh, there's what's his name from Frozen. He's cute. Oh, what is this? You are terrific. That's great for Valentine's Day coming up. It's very cute. We have a gnome up there. And let's see what else we got. Let's go around the pole. Let's see, we've got some teddy bears and 
We got another pony. Somebody might want a pony. My little pony. So we'll put that in the cart. And what are you? I don't know what you are. I don't know. That doesn't look very familiar. We have some teddy bears and unicorns. And we have a creepy doll. Oh, there was a leak here. She, she was here last time. Well, at least I grabbed some things. I was lucky enough to get some things. So that's good. Dylan's candy bar. Well, that's Dylan's candy bar, everybody. Cute notebook. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Big old dragon. And uh, some socks. $5.99 for the socks. Press here. No, I don't want to. Nap queen. Not seeing anything else here in the plush. Let's go see if we can get to the mishmash. Here we are in the mishmash. We've got diapers. We've got rope. We've got all sorts of things. More business cards that I can use for cardstock to make price tags at my booth with. So that's a good start. Lint rollers, a big old plush head of a elephant. Oh, it's the ones that you hang on the wall. Okay, he's staying here. What else do we have? We have our Brenda Har. And little wave something. This is insertable. Oh, that's the label things, the dividers. Don't need those. Uh, what is this? Up oh, for cupcakes. What else do we have? We have an umbrella. Well, that, that should sell today, considering the weather. We still have plenty of binders here. And I'm always looking for more like the printer label things for doing, um, for making labels for my booth. Happy Easter lambs. They're cute. Super fresco. Oh, that's a border. And we have a voicemail logbook. More Brenda Har. Pencils. A triple fake candle thing for $209. They were three each. So that's a good deal. I wonder if uh, their batteries are. Oh, battery works on that one. Let's see if the battery works on this one. I can actually check later. I'll check later. I'll just put it in the cart now. No big deal. All right, let's see what else we have over here. Erasable ceramic place cards. Oh, those are cool. 509 for those. How many are in here? Six. Nah, don't need them that much. Don't need them that much. Handheld sewing machine. Remember those? We have uh, LED icicles. Oh, cool. They're neat, but you only get five icicles, and there's only one box here. And they are... I don't see a price right now. So, I didn't see anything much here in the craft stuff either. So, let's see, what is this? Snow what? Photo value pack. It's got some ink cartridges in it. So, we'll put that up here and keep it... Put that up there and keep it out of the way. Fresh Patek starter kit. Ethylene absorber. Ooh, what is that? Ethylene absorber. That's interesting. Put that in the cart for now. It's a snow joe. No. Oh, it's a snow joe. All right. Well, that's interesting. I might need that for when I move. Put that in the cart right now. And let's see what else. Hmm. What in the world? Oh, awesome. That is mouth guard. Okay some gloves and the whiskey world history felt what felt menagerie create off the wall animals i'll look at that we'll see if it's there all there and not seeing really oh more brenda hair up there more candles and more hair. All right, I think that's it for the mishmash today.
Okie dokie. All right, we're in the artwork and frame stuff. I'm not seeing anything here that I'm interested in. Looks like they pulled more from here. So, let's see. Nothing interesting, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Wow, I haven't showed you guys something good in here in a long time. It happens sometimes. And then we have these here. So, that's it for the art. Well, we're going to hear look here in the fabrics and the towels and the sheets and the pillows and all that stuff looks pretty bland there's some bags filled with towels right there and some miscellaneous fabric let's see what's over here there's more towels a lot of towels those would be great if somebody donated them to the animal shelters and shower curtains towels more pillows what is that thing? Oh, it's a big old Santa Claus. It's a big old pixelated Santa Claus. This is a nice fabric, whatever it is. I don't know what it could be, but it's really cool. I like the colors in it. More towels. We got rugs. And uh, that's about it for over here in the fabrics and such. So move on so I see this here and it's only 209 and this would be great to display jewelry on um, see how it leans back and tapers for that price I'm grabbing it I'll figure out something to do with it either at home or at the booth but that is a really good bargain and it is wood all right it's going in the cart here at the hats looking for more wool hats for that girl to make her beautiful creations with and I don't see any today we have a Chicago hat. We have a Broncos, a uh, Cowboys, sorry, Cowboys hat, a couple straw hats, and Reading Police canine. That's interesting. And this, uh, Cal whoops, get that, California Republic hat. And that's about it. I'm going to look at the scar. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. Okay, I'll put that back. And uh, we'll keep looking. All right, I got her one. That's good. One's better than none. Put that in the cart. I don't know what this is made out of. I can't find the, oh, here it is. Let's see what this is. It is, oh, ah, cotton poly, so she can't use it because she burns them to give them that aged look. But if you want straw hats, there's plenty of, look at this rainbow straw hat. That's pretty red looking. That's neat. A lot of straw hats here all the time okay that's it for the hats over here we have some more hats I don't see anything great it's a little Mickey hat for a kid okay let's check out the scarves all right I'm not seeing much for the scarves this one I'm just checking to see who makes it Glen Eagles of Scotland all right so we'll get that one that's nice new with tags cool there's like an african style print and this has bees all over it look at bees everywhere that is very cute um i might get that one. Oh, here's another oh it's mod's got to it oh please don't be a it's a Kristen dior too cashmere isn't that a shame unless somebody knows how to repair one I'll get a better look at now. It's pretty bad. I don't know if anybody would grab that. There might be a way to fix it. I'll Google it while I'm here and see. Um, don't see anything else that really catches my eye. Here's another plaid. Who's this? Um, looking, trying to talk over the music because the music is loud. And no, it's just a cheapie. Just a cheapie. Okay. Oh, that green one's kind of cool, too. Oh, it's got sea turtles on it. That's kind of neat. And there's another rack here. And mostly plain, plain scarves. This one's nice, but it's got a lot of pilling and wear to it. I don't really see anything here that's interesting me. All right, we'll wait for more of them to bring out more carts of bins. 
Okay, they started moving purses back up front here. This one's neat. It looks like faux tortoiseshell. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, there's a fuzzy one. And um, it looks pretty empty. <laughs> looks like it got picked through pretty good. That's cute. The denim one with the embroidered flowers. Plus some of the flowers are coming apart. And I just thought I'd show you here because then there's going to be two places to look for purses now. I don't look that actively for them, but when something hits me, I get it. So that's the purses moved back up front. Just looking at the hand purses really quick to see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, I don't know what that says. Estee Lauder. Okay. There's a lot of makeup bags. But I don't see anything that's really... We've got Ipsy bags here. Okay. Nothing standing out to me. Nothing unique enough. Here's the metal aisle, and let me show you an overview of how empty it is. It's crazy how much space is on here. Usually it's jam-packed and stuff falls down when you try to pick it up off the shelf. Uh, banana holder. We have some travel mugs, Heineken buckets, a tray. What does that say? Tennessee sign. And candle holders, more candle holders up here. This one's got a crown on it, interesting. Not much to show, not much to show, guys. There's a bowl and little waste baskets. I guess this is for fruit. Snappy fit, this is good for the cages, but this one looks really nasty. Looks really nasty. They're good to have when you're traveling with your pet and you have them in a crate to move them somewhere. I'm going to have to look into things like that really, really seriously in the next couple months. And this is cool looking. Is this metal or is this... Oh, it's metal. That's cool what they did to it. Cool finish on it. I like that. Neat. Now right, we're going to shoot our way across here to the mugs. And let me go across. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff in my cart. <laughs> and we'll see if there's anything here that I need that I can't live without. Campbell's tomato soup. That's all washed because washed out because somebody put it in the dishwasher. I got a couple mugs. What is this? Basic culprit abacus engineer can organize them into committee. That what is this? What is this? This is very interesting with the like the code words and stuff. I'm going to look that up. That's got my interest. I like the finish on this mug here. I like the color and I like the matte finish. Oh, it's just a Royal Norfolk. Okay. Don't see anything else to grab here in the mugs. Would have been nice if there were more Pendleton ones. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like. And when you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss any of my future thrift with me's. I also sell on my channel. A lot of this stuff happens to be a lot of stuff I sell on my channel. So um, another good reason to set that notification bell to all. Leave a comment below and always pin to the top comment under every Thrift With Me video is a link to takes you to the playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos. So it's pretty cool if you want to binge watch. That is a lot of fun. I've done it on other people's channels. So if you want to catch up on great finds that I used to get here a long time ago, go watch those videos. Just play it while you're working on stuff. You hear something interesting, look up. And... Also, I asked a question in my last Thrift With Me video, and I only had one person answer. Kind of disappointing. So, um, I may be asking another question throughout the video here at some point for you guys to answer in the comments if you can. That would be really cool. But, um, I'm looking here. A lot of Christmas stuff still. Hawaii stuff. And these are neat. They have honeycomb but the gold is worn, worn off of them so they probably put them through the dishwasher stop putting stuff in the dishwasher people that's a nice big mug right there and we have some recycled glass glasses and what else do we have here warm and cozy 
nothing really much up here um, I don't do much with the champagne flues flutes whatever they're called but they have a nice set here I'm just not gonna pick it up they end up sitting at my house I do have a Ralph Lauren set I believe still oh look at it please don't be damaged please don't be damaged look at that mug let's see looks good is that 2225th yes that's a good brand that is a beautiful mug right there we're gonna get that we're gonna see what this is right here oh, it's a Starbucks Missouri cool we're gonna get that too excellent more Starbucks Chris okay I think that's all I see that I want to grab here I did grab a couple earlier when I did my preliminary walkthrough so we are done here in the cups and mugs all right now we're in the dishes still pouring rain outside there were some old plates here before. This is a Noritake. I think it's supposed to be a wave. Noritake stoneware. Uh, sometimes you get the good stuff on top because people don't look up there. Or some people can't see enough up there. I love these with the colors. I like the colors and the blocking that they did on it. Those are pretty fancy schmancy looking. Are they Studio Nova? They are Studio Nova. Those are neat. I like them kind of like art deco look to them and some more bowls and these are okay so we have these with the leaves on them and then we had other ones here I believe yes we have these that match as well they're older and hold on I'm trying to see the name Lighten, L-Y-T-T-O-N. Sorry, I was trying to... It's hard to do this with one hand sometimes. And a punch bowl. We don't want that. Some reindeer bowls. Another miscellaneous old bowl. These are still here with the roses on them. And some cups and saucers. Something's coming. Something's coming. Metal stuff. She's got metal stuff. Another punch bowl. Tree. And the wisterias are still here. What are these? Well, those are cool. Those are intriguing. I like the pattern on them. Oh, they're neat. Who makes those? Sakura. Oh, check out the colors on those. Woo! They look like they might be Corel. All right, we're done here in the dishes and bowls area. And if we pan over here, this is the pots and pans, which really doesn't yield much for me. So we're just going to skip over that. Got some canisters up there. And you have your lids and your silverware. Okay, be back. We're in the knickknack aisle. We have some cookie cutters there. Happy Easter sign. Some various colored vases. Salt and pepper shakers. We have a comedy and tragedy here. There's the tragedy. There's the comedy. Interesting. Made by Liss. L-I-S. Mm, Los Angeles. Oh. Okay, they're interesting, but I don't like that they're metallic. I would like if they just were just black or silver or something. And we have some more bottles up there. Ceramic rocking horse. There's art pottery. That's nice. It is signed. It is signed. It's hard to tell the name on there. It's a little too boring for me, though. Sometimes people buy the boring pieces. I can't make out that name. I cannot make out that name on there. Very difficult. We're probably going to leave that one behind. Just doesn't uh, interest me that much. The resin cross down there. Some bowls. Candle burners. Candle holders. The dragonflies are still here. 
A little coaster set. Transfer wear back there. Pretty. That's nice. Piece of transfer wear. And Enoch. I can't read it under there, but that's a hard sell for me. And a little recycle truck. Oh, look at the colors on these. Oh, uh, they're plastic. They're plastic. They are not glass. Here's an Applejack shot glass. That's cool. We have some bears up here. We have a fruit tree. We have this demon child that got her eyes gouged out. No, just kidding. Um, these are older. There's the label for it. I can't read it right now, but it is vintage. They want 509 for that. Not the subject matter I look for for my buyers. And we have an and again. And we have and teddy bear, guy with no hand. That's a pretty vase right there, glass vase. I'm seeing if they hit anything in the back. What, what is this? This is, oh, Mount Fuji, the Imperial Palace. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a gorgeous plate. Souvenir of Japan, 209. Those don't really sell well for me, but it is pretty. It was worth showing to you guys. Um, hmm. So we have another covered butter dish. I don't know. I like getting them. They usually go fast, but they haven't been. And I mean, this is a great price for one. And I like that it's got the handle. I might just get this one. It's got the handle on it, so that's cool. All right, I'm going to grab that. And then here, it looks like we have some Franciscan for $1.09, but I don't need it. Just one piece isn't going to do much for me. This is a cool candle burner. Oh, Sherry, yeah, that was here last time. We have the broken gnome is still here. They don't pull the broken stuff, though. Stuff stays here for a while. Oh, that's a nice vase right there. Nice red glass vase from Ikea. It's an Ikea vase. Very pretty. Blown glass vase. 209 for that. It is kind of nice, but I don't think anybody, you know, it's nothing spectacular. It's just your typical vase. So we're going to leave that. I'm sure somebody will buy it. It's from Ikea. All right, I'll get to the other side. Okay, we're on the other side. And that picture frame is still here. We have a Carlton Cards a ornament from 2000. That vase is still here, the one that looks like the looks like the shell. Uh, we have this cardinal with what is that in there? Oh, that's a spoon or a knife. He's cool. Um, we have some crackle glass teal color candle holders. We have this interesting thing, whatever it is, I don't know. Got a little piggy bank over there for a baby. There's a cute little duck. And some cobalt burners. Those are nice. There's two of them. Those are cool, but again, it's just plain, you know, just everyday stuff. Red vases here. Oh, look at the turtle. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. 209 for that. I guess you put it out in your garden. That is really cute. And the bunny. What is this? This is Saks Fifth Avenue for 309. I will leave it. It doesn't look that great to me. And again, we have a lot of uh, planters. A lot of clear glass here. And... I, ooh, that's a big monster, huh? Wow. Look at that. Look at that wine glass, everybody. Wow. That's huge. It's huge. These are cute. Chipped on the inside, unfortunately. They're neat. They could be used by many people to fit their taste. 
Uh, that's nothing great. That's got violets on it. Wow, look at these. These look like the uncandled things up here. And I think we are done with the knickknacks until they bring some more stuff out. Okay. When life gives you lemons, look at that. There's a ton of lemons in there. Faux lemons. I wonder what they came from. Pretty neat, huh? I just wanted to share my lemons. Here is something cool. Well, this is for your fireplace. Hopefully when I move, I get my fireplace and I need one of these. This is cool for 209 The crossed arrows. Isn't that neat? Comes with the hardware too. It was from Marshalls. It'd be nice to put something cool in the middle of that. I might get that. All right, we're trucking on. This poor cat had arms and legs, but they're gone now. So it'd be fun to make something for him. But I just want to show kitty cat. I like this, but it's chipped. It's a Harker Everglades sugar bowl, but there is a chip on the top. Very cool design, but we're going to leave it. Well, as you saw in the picture, I showed a basket of ceramic fruit that a guy got. It was in his basket. And I also showed you those two techniques uh, components, the amplifier and the dual cassette player. $12.99 a piece, and I would have got 25% off, but I'm not worried about it. Um, this is a real cowhide for 30 bucks. I would get 25% off of that, but um, it does have some damage. This is great for a southwestern southwestern home but it looks like some moths ate some of the fur you can see here that stinks but um or you can use it to do native american crafts with so i don't think i can like melissa i don't think i could send this to melissa my mod because she's in canada i don't think i could send anything there so i just wanted to share that with you guys then i found this old ge uh clock radio but I'm going to put it back. They want $6.99 for it. I really don't need it. But I just wanted to share it with you guys. When was the last time you saw one of those? All right, moving on. I saw this Mystique uh, old 90s X-Men. But um, her pleather is all torn apart. And her neck is popped off. So she's in really bad shape. So I'm just going to leave her here. That's a shame. She was in good shape. I would have grabbed her from my booth. But I just wanted to share that with you. She's cool. Well, this is disturbing. It's a teddy bear missing his head and one arm. Very, very disturbing indeed. <laughs> a poor thing. I don't know what happened. Oh, is this the rest of them? Nope, this is something else. Okay, it's not. Oh boy, that's bizarre. And there's a cute little uh, seahorse down there too. Apparently it had babies in it or something, but I can't find the babies. Some purses here, but nothing really. Is this this is funky looking i don't know what the name is that's pretty cool i like the effects on it that's neat so not much here not much here i like that i like that that's awesome okay it's getting busy over here so i just wanted to give you a overall look at some of the stuff this is very cute. It is a butterfly purse and it's got several compartments to it. It's got the butterfly print on the handle on the strap and uh, yeah, it holds a lot of stuff. I don't know if I want to pay that for it, but we'll put it in the cart and we'll think about it. It's kind of different. I like it. And here is a fake coach. And I don't even want to check and see how much they're asking for it. But that's it over here. Here's that uh, pottery fruit uh, vegetables. 509 for that. And he put it back. So I guess it wasn't uh, worth enough to him. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Too big and clunky for me to deal with, though. I'd probably chip it up. So... 
And uh, I don't know what this is, but oh, that's probably for a fake fireplace. They just put that out. I'm waiting for them to bring out a couple more carts and then I'm gonna do my cart review. A few more minutes. All right, I'm putting this vase back. It's got a really nice glaze on it, but I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. But let's admire it for a few seconds. These are gorgeous. They're $17.99 each and they're um, crystal prism gems, but they're a lamp. There's two lamps. They're really, really pretty. Look at the colors coming off of those. You guys see that? Absolutely beautiful. Those are so nice. Nice pair of lamps there. I like the gems. I like the crystal, cut crystal. Oh, look at the rainbows coming off of that, guys. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. And there's a pair. All right, I'm going through some of my stuff. I'm going to put this back, the kitty cat. I don't know, it just doesn't look very practical. If it was just the cat, I'd get it. But he is very cute. Hand carved wood. I'm going to put him back. And then I will do the recap in a minute. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Set it to all. Uh, leave me a like. Leave a comment below. And also pin to the top comment under every one of my Thrift With Me videos is a link to the playlist to all my Thrift With Me videos. So check them out. I do sell this stuff on my channel as well. So if you want to join, join a membership as well. That's a great benefit for the buyers. I'll be back. Just want to show you a couple things here. They put this out. This is 409 very cool i don't see a signature or anything i think it's just a regular print not num oh there's a thing right there but i don't think it's real i think it's just a print um, but it's cool and if you come over here here's a neat piece that somebody did good job on that it looks good and nothing else i don't see anything else here oh these are cute like these 209 and 209 those are pretty i like them very rustic good for a log cabin a future log cabin and don't see anything else so we're going to do the right recap in just one second oh what is that up there oh just a fan okay i'm just a fan uh we'll be back with the recap check this out everybody this vintage um Salon hair dryer Monaco speed dry. Who remembers those being on their heads? Isn't that cool? Blast from the past. I'll try to show it to you guys and fit it all in here. Isn't that great? Interesting. All right, it's time for a recap. Um, first thing I want to ask you guys if you could comment in the comment section below. What is your favorite thing to collect? Please let me know in the comments below. All right, first thing I'm getting is this, this rack for 209. Saw that at the beginning. So I'm gonna either, I don't know, some kind of jewelry. Some kind of jewelry or folded fabric thing. Okay, I just saw this in the baby stuff and it's for a dog, size medium. As you can tell by the way it's made and cut out. So I'm going to get that just in case of an emergency. Um, let's start. I guess we'll start here. Okay. Oh, those things have to go back. Sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to try to do the recap here. I'm getting these um, business card forms. I'm getting this Mech Motors metal construction and it's got a motor, it's still sealed, so I'm getting that. Those seem to go good. Another For Real Pets cat. The batteries, I think, are dead. This World Market uh, picture frame. Rustic looking, really nice. Um, I have to get some of these wrappers because I have the automatic wrapper machine, so I have to get some of those. I'm getting this guy he does have a small chip I think I forget but he's cool I could paint his beard orange or something he'll look cool I don't know I think somebody will really like him on my uh, channel I have this brand new with tag scarf and it is Glen Eagles of Scotland 
and I think it's lamb's wool. Uh, the crossed arrowhead decor, I might put that back, we'll see. Um, this is this vintage salad set with salt and pepper shakers in its original box. Very cool. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's what happens when you're trying to do this with one hand. I'll try to get it back up here. I'll show you. It's the fork, the spoon, and the salt and pepper shaker. Very cool. Sorry about that. I got some CDs. Well, CDs seem to be going good on my channel right now, so I got some CDs that I think will sell. This is a hat form, so when you clean a hat, you put it in this so it doesn't collapse. There's the CDs. I got this gorgeous quilt, absolutely gorgeous quilt. I'll try to include a picture after the um, recap, or just before the recap, I'll probably put it in, but it's all hand-stitched. Uh, let's see. Got a Life is Good mug, and it says, do what you like, like what you do. I picked up the beautiful peacock mug. I got this mug. It's a cat. And it is an Andy Warhol. So um, I'm keeping that. That's staying with me. Then we have a Starbucks mug down there. Let me move this out of the way. This has a couple condition issues, but not, not bad. There's another CD. Uh, this shaker, it's a red, red glass barware shaker. Very cool. Then I got two wool hats from my buddy so she could do stuff with them. This very large scarf, wrap shawl. It's huge. And this one as well. This one as well. And then this one is just a triangle shawl. Um, if anybody's interested, let me know. I could bring them to my sale instead of to the booth. Um, hot socks. Good luck, kitty. I'm getting another calculator because um, my other one, I don't know, the, the keys are starting to stick on it. So I'm getting that. I'm getting this cool shelf sitter, Moon. He's very cool. I like him. Uh, you already saw the outfit. Uh, Jack Daniels bandana. So, somebody will probably want that. I'm getting the big Batman toy, because he's just so cool. He's very, very cool. And he talks. He came on by himself before, I guess, I pushed the button. Um, we have a My Little Pony, another one. Uh, this is a signed piece of art pottery. This, I don't know what it says, but I'm intrigued. So, I'm picking it up. It's a very interesting mug. This is a beautiful celestial mug. It says Mexico on the handle. I'm getting a bunch of these uh, balsa fans. They're worth about $15 to $20. Um, getting these three earring holders. This covered butter dish with the handle. This is a glass perfume bottle. And it's got a little fish or a bird inside the, the handle. Uh, this little guy who's really cute. There's this mug and it's got code on it. It's from the early 80s, so I'm not really sure what that's for. This is a Fresh Protect starter kit um, to keep your veggies fresh in your fridge. I'm getting this kitty. And I'm getting, oops, he's backwards. This kitty, very cute. I don't know why this isn't focusing, or maybe it's just my eyes. I'm um, getting this outdoor paint, craft paint, and I think that's about it. I think I'm done. That's it for the day. I am ready to go home. Got off to a late start because of the storm. So, um, again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Set it to all. Give us a like and leave a comment below, and also pin to the top comment. Always under my Thrift Me videos is a link a pinned link to all my thrift with me videos so um please answer the question i ask guys i'm curious to see how many people will participate maybe we'll start running some contests you never know um have a great day everybody until next time see you on the flip side bye everybody thank you